Miles beneath the surface of the Pacific lies a world few will ever see. A world of crushing pressure, superheated vents, and colossal geological forces. Here, on the ocean floor, sits the most active submarine volcano in the Northeast Pacific, the Axial Seamount. The news alerts are out. Scientists are now predicting that this massive underwater volcano is poised to erupt again, possibly by the end of 2025. But this isn't just another eruption. What makes Axial Seamount unique, and what is now putting seismologists on high alert, isn't just the magma. It's the warning. What the sensors on the seafloor are now recording is a hidden symphony of thousands upon thousands of earthquakes. In its last major eruption cycle, this volcano triggered a staggering 10,000 tremors in just 24 hours. This isn't a silent threat. This is a mountain that screams before it blows. Before we dive into the incredible science behind Axial Seamount's violent tremors, if you find these geological insights critical, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to Geology Watch. The Axial Seamount is no ordinary volcano. It rises approximately 1,100 meters 3, feet, from the seafloor, a colossal shield volcano sitting about 480 kilometers 300 miles, west of the Oregon coast. Its location is what truly defines its power. Axial Seamount sits at the intersection of two colossal geological features, a mid-ocean ridge and a hotspot. The Juan de Fuca Ridge is where the Juan de Fuca Plate and the Pacific Plate are pulling apart. This constant separation acts like a conveyor belt, feeding a steady supply of magma from the Earth's mantle directly to Axial. On top of that, it is also influenced by the cobb eichelberg Seamount chain, which is a hotspot trail similar to the one that formed Hawaii. This unique combination, a spreading ridge and a hotspot, makes Axial Seamount the most active and robust submarine volcano in the Northeast Pacific, having erupted predictably in 1998, 2011, and 2015. For decades, studying submarine volcanoes was like trying to understand a hidden monster, guessing at its behavior from afar. But Axial Seamount is different. It is the most closely monitored patch of seafloor on the entire planet. This is thanks to the Ocean Observatory's initiative's Regional Cabled Array, a technological marvel funded by the National Science Foundation. A massive fiber-optic cable runs for hundreds of miles across the seafloor, providing real-time power and a high-speed internet connection directly to the volcano. A sprawling network of scientific instruments is plugged into this cable, listening watching, and measuring every tremor, every swell, and every chemical change. High-definition cameras, chemical sensors, and most critically, a suite of seismometers and high-precision pressure sensors send a constant stream of data back to shore-based labs, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. We are, for the first time in history, watching a deep-sea volcano live. And what that live data has revealed is a remarkably consistent and terrifying pattern. The volcano follows a predictable cycle of breathing. After an eruption, as the magma chamber empties, the floor of the volcano's caldera deflates or sinks. After the 2015 eruption, the seafloor dropped by over 2 meters. Then, for years, the volcano steadily inhales. The magma chamber slowly refills from the mantle, and the seafloor begins to swell, rising centimeter by centimeter. The high-precision pressure sensors on the seafloor measure this vertical deformation with astonishing accuracy. This steady inflation is the clock, counting down to the next eruption. As this magma chamber inflates to its breaking point, the surrounding rock begins to crack and groan under the immense strain. This is when the earthquakes begin. It starts with a few hundred tremors a day, then thousands. These are not large, destructive quakes on their own, but they are the unmistakable signature of magma forcing its way upwards, fracturing the overlying crust and creating pathways to the surface. To the instruments on the seafloor, this seismic swarm becomes a deafening roar. In the 24 hours leading up to the 2015 eruption, scientists watched in amazement as their instruments registered a staggering 10,000 earthquakes. This seismic roar is the sound of the volcano priming itself, the fracturing of rock that precedes the flow of lava. 
The latest data from late 2024 and early 2025 shows axial seamount is once again following this textbook pattern. The seafloor has been steadily swelling, reaching and surpassing the height it had just before its last eruption in 2015. Concurrently, the rate of seismic activity has dramatically increased, with daily earthquake counts soaring into the hundreds and climbing. The volcano has finished inhaling. It is holding its breath. This repeatable pattern has allowed scientists like volcanologist Bill Chadwick of Oregon State University to make remarkably accurate forecasts. Their prediction window for the next eruption is between now and the end of 2025. When axial seamount erupts, it is not an explosive ash cloud generating event like Mount St. Helens or Etna. As a shield volcano, its highly fluid basaltic lava simply pours out of long fissures on the sea floor, flowing for miles and creating new crust. This new land formation is a direct observation of plate tectonics in action, a geological process that typically happens invisibly deep beneath the waves. The lava flows can be enormous, burying existing hydrothermal vent fields and their unique ecosystems. But even here, life adapts, and these extreme environments are quickly recolonized, offering scientists a rare chance to study the resilience of deep-sea life. So what are the implications of this silent roar? For humans on land, the risk is minimal. Axial seamount is too deep and too far from the coast to cause a tsunami or trigger a major earthquake on the Cascadia subduction zone. But for science, it is a gold mine. Axial seamount is a true natural laboratory. Its frequent predictable eruption cycles, coupled with the unprecedented real-time monitoring, allow scientists to test and refine their eruption forecasting models. What they learn here, from the thousands of tiny quakes to the subtle swelling of the sea floor, can be applied to other, more dangerous volcanoes around the world. Understanding how these seismic swarms relate to magma movement here could help us better interpret similar swarms at places like Campi Flegre in Italy or the Sleeping Giants of the Cascades. This volcano, deep beneath the Pacific, is not just a geological spectacle. It is a classroom. It is teaching us the complex language of planetary unrest, one tremor at a time. Axial Seamount is screaming its warnings before it erupts, and for the first time in history, scientists are able to listen. If this story gave you a new perspective on our planet's hidden forces, please like this video and subscribe to Geology Watch. Join us as we continue to explore the incredible forces shaping the only world we call home.